Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and we are continuing our Blind Expert Iron Man playthrough of this wonderful game. <clears throat> I have done a tiny bit of exploration, mainly to gather food, but I haven't progressed the storyline. So today we're doing storyline and a little bit more of that sweet, sweet arena matchups. Apparently there is at least a second arena here. So, the broker's son disappeared in the night of his mother's murder. So apparently it's not only her being uh, being killed, but also the son disappearing. Let's uh, listen to what the NPCs have to say. My mother was murdered and my brother didn't even turn up. I don't know where that loafer is, but I hope for his sake that he wasn't involved. Find Lydric, and I will give you a fitting reward, mercenaries. I don't know where he's disappeared to, or when he went missing, but I have told the help not to touch his room. It's upstairs. Feel free to take a look. Maybe... Okay. It seems like a bit of a murder mystery that we have to solve. Lovely. No game is ever complete without a good murder mystery. Clues, yes. I must leave me. I need to focus. I've been Lady Malvina's personal bodyguard for three years now. Well, that's good for Between you. Between you and me. I believe that Lydric Old Hovendorp is capable of killing his own mother. They hated each other so much that Broker Hovendorp regularly threatened to disinherit Oh, wow. Well, that's a good motive right there. The small box is sealed with a puzzle mechanism. Oh, look at you. Behave with your puzzle mechanisms. Okay, well, we want to put that here, and that here, and that here, and that here, and that should be it. Slowly but surely getting the hang of these puzzles. You've uh, obtained a love letter. The box contains a number of slotly letters between Lyrical Horvendov um, and a juggler named Adelise. The last letter refers to a thrist on Arses Square. Okay. Couple of playing cards. Nothing of value in that box. Couple of poetry books. I think we already found the main clue. The one clue to rule them all. I am responsible for the brothers in arms who protected Broker Willa were veterans. So their assailants must have Okay, we've already been informed that the murder must have to do with uh, really, really experienced uh, assassins of sorts. There is the Broker's Palace. The role of the Broker Council is to run the city and maintain some measure of civil peace there. Each member, brokers such as myself, has a duty to listen to the residents' demands. Yes, mercenaries. Do you have a grievance? The Brotherhood reports didn't tell us much more than what we already knew. At the time of Willa Al Hovendorp's brutal murder, all the other brokers were here and stayed well into the night. Well, it's uh, funny that he would say that because I haven't okay, even asked him about his involvement. Some might think you're in. You may not pass. There's no excuse for poker. This fresco is incredible. I've never seen anything like it in Harak. How have they. Just look around you. The streets empty the minute the sun sets. Everyone's afraid to go. I commiserate, dear lady, but I can assure you the Broker Council is doing everything in its power to resolve this. 
Interesting. Broker I'll take advantage. Allegedly, all the brokers were still at the palace when Willa Old Hovendorp was killed. I do wonder why she wasn't with them. That's a good question. Good to see you again. We were there on the night of Willa Old Hovendorp's death. I remember Broker Berner was also there. But I don't think I saw the Broker's son or the Alizarian ambassador. Well, Broker Barna just told, uh, Broker Light uh, just told me that everybody was Good here. Good to see you again. You should head to Hovendorp Manor. The Broker's daughter has a certain. Well, okay. Something is fishy and I'm not talking about the market fish. I'm talking about the stinky, stinky fish. Not bandits again. I don't want to fight bandits. Good. We're we should talk to Adelise here. You wish to congratulate us on our performance? No. Lydaric, you're looking for him. Yes. I'll do anything to help you find my beloved. Ask me what. The last time I saw him was the night his mother was murdered. He forgot to take his hat. Perhaps some animal could follow his scent. I like. How you're thinking. Oh, Jeru! Alas! Crowns are of no in his grave. I like how you're thinking, so. Scent of the betrayal. How would that work? Um, how would that work? I mean, hmm. Roby, do you have a good scent? And where's the head? Hmm. I would guess if we had a wolf, uh, the things might uh, be m much easier, but in absence of that, I have to wonder, but I am seeing an arena over here and I cannot resist it. Uh, I do have the urge to actually Are participate. You here for the arena clash? Perfect. So you're going to rip. Please. I'm in desperate need of skilled champions to restore my arena's reputation. I beg you. All right. Thank you. You won't be disappointed, I promise. All I ask is that you win. It should be easy. Cool. Well, Hovendorf uh, Arena. Another arena. I like that. I brought some decent food with me this time. Um, more particular. Critical hit chance increased by 10%. Then we had um, where was uh, the dexterity? Dexterity increased by twenty percent, which means more damage or more valor. I think we're going with more valor. And a little bit more happiness. Sounds like a good plan. Cool. Onwards and upwards. More XP, more loot. Sounds like exactly what we need to do right now. After rest, the Vela points earned by the troops are reduced. No, we're not uh, doing that. We're at six Vela points. That's good enough for the arena, I, I guess. What will become of us without Broker Hovendorp? Oh, that's that's so thought. Don't repeat this to anyone, but I think that the rumors are true. Broker Berner killed Willa Old Hovendorp. He never got over the fact that his best fighters left to join his rival. Oh, so he murdered her. 
Oh, I see. Well, that, there is the motive. Apparently, the situation has improved. But until recently, Broker Burner paid us so poorly that we couldn't even afford to go to the apothecary. Most of us went to the competition. If you want my opinion, Alizar is behind the broker's murder. Whenever there is something fishy going on around here, they're always in on it. Interesting that you use the word fishy. Don't become like me, mercenaries. Above all, don't ever gamble. If you don't have enough to cover your losses, or you win a bit too much, they will come after you. Welcome to the Arena Clash, mercenaries. The most important event of the year, save for the Festival of Light. Who would you like to bet on? Who will win the tow? Oh, you're representing Burner's Arena. <laughs> That's sporting of you, mercenaries, but you don't stand a chance. Ovendorp won the title four years in a row. Broker Burner is completely out of his league. Well, we're going to see about that. Uh, we're going to take Namri again. Uh, or shall we go with uh, Lieutenant Miss Grell? I think for uh, to switch it up, let's do Miss Grell for once. Um, I definitely want an Executioner. I want Captain Anders Sanders. And we're either going in with a Harpenier or with the Dilly G. Good question. I think we're going in with Dilly. The ranged attacks were helpful. So we got fire traps. Walking close to the trap could trigger it and start it off. Interesting setup, by the way. Out of curiosity, we can get two, but not three get the entire back line if we want it which I think we will do but that doesn't trigger traps I like it that <laughs> triggers both of them and here we go Oh, holy. Yep, yep, and yep. We're already burning. Um, let's move back to here. Mainly because I want uh, Frebert to, to engage uh, with our tank instead. Why Sender Sender is burning, by the way? Well, it doesn't even make any sense. Cargett got in factious oil and a big fat lesson in uh, getting bullied around. Best friend bonus for some support. Oh, massive six points of damage. Well, we need to get rid of the guard. Which I think we can do with weakening them. And then uh, further weakening them. And a bit of vulnerability. Um, I will leave it as uh, that. Next turn I need to deal with uh, the Valor points for sure. So that ignored guard. That included a bleeding. Unfortunately, I'm passing on the good old burning. Fredbert uh, must be engaged in combat at the end of uh, the round. Well, we can. Uh, certainly do that, but first uh, let's put orderly in. 
Continuing the vulnerability. Finally removing the stupid guard. And now she's also on top of it burning. And the fragility plus the repost really start to kick in. She is bleeding already. Um, let's earn some more temporary Valor. Moves up. Hits this guy. Oh yeah. Good. We used all of our standard Vela. Fulfilling the requirement grants an additional Vela. Every time a companion disengages, they perform an attack of opportunity. Let's take that one. Enemy units gain the rage status when they are burning. Okay, I can see how this whole... Um, Arena is starting to play out. A lot of it will re revolve around us um, burning. I think we're okay with that little hit points left on Enders. Just want to start with more Valor, really. Oh, interesting. We are talking Split Arena this time. Well, for starters, uh, this will be definitely a good, a good start uh, for JP Pauly. Um, yeah, I can tell you something, dear viewers. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Fragility. And after that... A couple of strikes. I was expecting a bit more to happen. Bloodshed. Unfortunately can't really kill both of them. Too much guard. Good. In the meantime, we're destabilizing this guy, uh, these guys. Uh, probably take some damage, but I think we're okay. Starts to engage here, which is good. Starts to kill. Which is even better. Starts to weaken him. That makes him vulnerable. And I think we're okay for now. Just leave it as is. Good. One taken out. Uh, we're unfortunately burning, but I think sprint cancels burn. Text from behind, ignore guards. So that's good. Right there. And to be fair. Will we need a galvan? Uh, will we need our shout for something else? I don't think so. Might as well get one Vela for free and a bit of damage. 
<coughs> Each companion must end their turn next to an enemy. Well, I think we can <coughs> make sure that the enemies are dead by then. I think we need the fragility to dish out more damage. Bloodshed will help us on top. And uh, that's okay for now. He's technically not bleeding yet. Moves up. Now he's bleeding. And now his guard is also gone. We're losing the requirement, but that's okay. I just want to kill him, to be honest. There we go, that resets movement. Gets rid of burning, just to get burning shortly afterwards. Okay, good fight, good knock. As long as enemy is surrounded, they have destabilization. Uh, all enemies start the battle with vulnerability. Yep, there we go. Heal, heal. Extra Valor, Extra Valor, go. Okay, interesting positioning. It's getting wilder and wilder. It's like one on one on all fronts. This guy will go for Grell. Could shoot him back and then use Pauly for for a pull together. It's not the worst idea. Massive knockback here. Hell yeah, Ooh, that's a good knockback. Good double knockback, actually. came here for exactly more fire is coming in it's a bit stupid but okay <sighs> I don't know I don't know do we want to sprint up just yeah, potentially just offering us as a melee combatant. It's not the worst idea. The trinkets that uh, make you immune uh, to bleeding, they would have been uh, very helpful in this particular arena. <clears throat> Alright, JP Pauly is trying to tank Ogek. Ogek, unfortunately, is 
bit stronger than expected. Let's heal Polly and teach Ogik a lesson. There we go. A lot of critical hits. And your stupid guard is almost down. Alright, he's already bleeding. Might as well finish that job. Ignore the guard. And a massive crit of 148 uh, tells a clear story. We're done with you guys. There we go. Just putting some extra knives in. Interesting. Learn something. Uh, the the uh, repost even works if you're pushing them back. Cool. As long as uh, enemies are engaged, they have fragility. Well, they already start with fragility, which means um, we're increasing the strength of the companions. And we're now up against the champion, and that means heal everyone, repair, and really hope for the best. We won't heal you, two more Valor points are fine. All companions must move. What is she doing? Um, Deals damage to the target, guaranteed uh, critical hit if the target is burning, that sucks. Uh, incredible flask thrower. Uh, creates fire. Let me just ask the question. Oh, I should have really taken the uh, other tank. Nemri is immune to fire and burning per, uh, per definition. Had I known <coughs> that this whole arena is an elaborate uh, burning scam, then it would have looked different. So, weaken her. And right afterwards, nice little weakening blow, followed by a critical strike. Uh, she has damage reduced by 50%. Yeah, that is weakening, three weakenings on her. Uh, which I think is okay for now. Takes a hit. She's starting to burn. Takes another hit. We take Rage. And she's now... Losing 1% of her health at the end of their turn, stackable, so that's... Is that 30% of her health? Oh wow, okay. Slow down, is bleeding, and weakened. Good. Nice little crit from behind, <clears throat> followed by a nice little crit from behind, followed by a nice little crit from behind. That's good damage right there. Uh, fantastic damage. I don't want to take burning damage, so what we're going to do is just sprint over here, throw, and um, best friends. <clears throat> Done.
First strike will apply a lot of additional bleeding damage. That's a nice crit right there. 212 bloodshed. So <clears throat> she's currently losing 30% of her health. Then on top of it, she loses 20%. And then 212 as normal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to hurt. Uh, yeah. Just moving over here. Nice. Nice. Well, I think this will be an easy, uh, definitely an easy one. Unless there is something else that I'm missing. Big fat damage, followed by more big fat damage, followed by even more big fat damage. <laughs> lost. Nothing personal, but no victory means no bonus for us. Oh well. One has to be a good sport, eh? At least you gave us quite a show. Take your prize. The rest will be sent to Burner's Arena. Cool. We got ourselves a one-handed axe upgradable. Uh, that deals damage and is based on fire damage. I mean, look, we're having two-handed axes. I'm not going to change the execution aspect. This is just way too much fun. So cool, uh, cool reward, but I was uh, sort of hoping for a two-handed uh, version of that. You won. You did it. Verna will never walk alone. Verna will never walk alone. That's the weakest chant that I've ever heard. Are you happy with this reward? Ask me anything. Oh, I wasn't expecting a question about Willa. I know it's not very respectful of her memory, but I'm glad that she's joined the light. That woman spent her whole life trying to ruin my family. The Burners have always opposed slavery. So when we finally got the chance to vote for its abolition at the Broker Council, I thought our time had finally come. I was so certain the reform would pass that I hired people, bought mines and businesses. But at the last minute, Willa turned the council against me. They voted to keep slavery. All my investments were lost. It nearly destroyed my family. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose that I can't refuse you my finest wares. Well, unfortunately, we haven't gotten any extra loot, but... Okay, confusion powder sounds fun. Anti burn almond. This unit resists burning. Okay, so that is straight up no burning instead of uh, the burning one that we already had. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Um, let's, by the way, upgrade the gunnery as well. Okay, seems like we have done most of the arenas. Um, all we need is a little bit more wood to upgrade the gunnery and we also need a little, little bit more XP. XP is slow. These guys here, Enders and uh, JP, are training at the training stummy, which is okay. But other than that, holy shit, XP is a grind at that point. Let's go back and shortly take a look. One last look at uh, the theater here before we're uh, potentially ending the episode art lovers are you we haven't seen the brokers 
The last time I saw him was... I hope you enjoyed the... Will our old Hovendorp's death? Oh, there we go. Sniff it out. Good. Well, now I do understand how we are supposed to do it. It's basically following the scent. Which becomes a bit more difficult if everything here looks like a massive foggy environment. Yeah, and of course, we need to take a good rest. Okay, let's try again. Besides, when we're in the camp, let's do something clever. Uh, we have one bow that requires upgrading, uh, which is a level 9 bow. And we do have one sword, which is level 9 for Namri. So why wouldn't we uh, put Namri up here? I mean, no disrespect to you, Pauly. Uh, go ahead and sit at the campfire. It's all good, my dude. And we need a uh, ranger that could actually work with us here. So Dilly is the right person. Unfortunately, we're losing out our continuous supply of raw materials, but it is what it is. So those two should be the first ones to level because we do have weapons available for them. Okay, so that's definitely the location where where he uh, where we need to go. Uh, small update here. Daily could continue here, and we could give the bow to Zoe. So you two are actually going to level. Other than that, time to enter the building. Are you looking for someone in particular? Murder? How would I know anything about... If you don't mind, I'd rather you took a bath first. Why would I care about the fate of a broker? Are you quite finished harassing my friends with your sordid questions? We're honest workers. We will not be insulted like this by our patrons. I pay the Brotherhood good money for protection. This way, mercenaries. Can't you say no one wants to answer your wretched questions? Oh, okay. Hired goons, level 10. Well, this is going to be fun. Fighting in a brothel. Nothing like doing that. Okay, in true medieval fashion, they've taken it outside. Good, Namri here, JP Pauly here. I'll bear here. And we're giving everybody orderly before charging up and uh, destabilizing the peace bearer. And uh, then hitting him. This looks like a great opportunity for JP. Moves up. Draws everyone closer. And let's go, baby. One, two. Three, four, 
Five. Okay. Six. Seven. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, he's already dead, he just doesn't know it yet. Gets a Vela point. Moves up. Okay, maybe, just maybe, these guys are not as strong as I feared they would be. Oh, never mind. There's another crew coming, but they are far away. When they arrive, we're already going to be done with them, very likely. Good, moves him to here. Gets rid of his stupid guard. And I think we're okay. Moves over to here and here and Take that, thank you. Ah, barely not all three of them in in reach. Well, still a decent shot. Moves up here, hits this guy, continues to hit him, and end of turn. Anders Sanders. Um. Maximizing Vela points. Charge in. Get Fury. Kill this guy. Kill that guy, and nah, we're not wasting anything. Ending turn. Instead, that's the right way to go. Plenty of hits. Uh, that Peace Bearer is already taking a lot of damage plus bleeding. <clears throat> Good. We got Fury. And we got our Veiler completely filled up.
Weakening. Continue with orderly. Hit. Yeah, not enough debuffs. Still has 50% uh, guard, which makes it hard to go through all of this. But now, it's much easier. Grell and Zoe uh, still don't fully like each other. Let's just use a bit of healing to make that better. Always trying to let them fight next to each other so that we can improve the relationship. In the meantime, these areas are huge. I am wondering uh, who uh, thought that that was a good idea. Waiting for their arrival and not the other way around. I cannot, for the love of my life, uh, see how they would arrive here in time. Might as well just use the time to build up a neat little front line. That e wouldn't even be enough uh, for a sniping shot. These guys are so far away, they've spent the first three turns uh, to simply move, move, and move. Which is ridiculous if you think about it. Yeah, good job, you hit for 40. And then even a tank almost gets you down. <clears throat> Good, trying to build the front line here really. These guys are no match for us anymore. It was a pretty one-sided gig to begin with, but it is even worse now. That opens up a new engagement opportunity. Did he really not even make it to there? Well, that's unbelievable. Alright, come here. We're starting with that. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, it's only us until the end of the turn.
Let's engage the guy. Poor little crewmate. He's nothing going for himself. Careful here, don't want to push him back too far. Never mind, it already happened. Good, move up. We need to destabilize him. I don't want to deal with 50% guard. All right, Jim, on the other hand, what? Okay, well, we chained him. I wanted to, uh, never mind. Bot. <laughs> Bot is a crewmate level 10 and uh, apparently has a small skill tree and that's about it. Well, let's continue our talk for a second. Security personnel, you monsters. What do you want from us? We don't know anything about a murder. Lyderick, you've done this for him. You shouldn't have gone to all that trouble. The fool isn't worth it. He was here when his broker of a mother died. Then some bandits came and took him away. I'm not sure what they were talking about, but they mentioned crowns. A lot of crowns. Go and find those bandits. Some of my friends know where they hide out. Interesting. Are you looking for someone in particular? There's a well-known hideout near Burner's Arena. Well, well. I've seen bandits prowling around the university to rob the... Are you missing something? The Go broker's on. table. Run speed. Purchase increased. It's actually not bad. Well, it was an interesting you journey here. I don't recall working with those. <laughs> it was an interesting journey, but it was a long journey. We're almost over. Uh, we're almost at an hour. Thank you for watching, everyone. It was a pleasure. If you enjoyed the brothel fight, then leave uh, a suggestive uh, comment down below and click that like button. Maybe you can seduce it. Have a good one. And see you soon. Bye-bye.